Hi, I'm Willie, and welcome to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you. If you're a new viewer who's going to become a subscriber, thank you. Or if you're just here because you stumbled upon my videos, thank you for being here. So don't forget that the Net Tool giveaway video that I posted over the weekend, don't forget that, that those submissions go through tonight, so go over there and comment on that video. Tomorrow I will release the winner of the first Net Tool. And uh, as you can hear this, I, I, I don't have my new microphone hooked up yet. That is <laughs> uh, going to happen tomorrow too. You know how best of intentions are. So, but uh, uh, people have been keeping me busy, so I really appreciate that. So today, what I want to talk about is firewall rule exclusions on the ed edge router. So if you followed my IoT uh, segregation video, what we're going to do is we're going to take it a step further, and let's say that you have a printer or a web server or some sort of a server that people in that segregated network need to get to, I'm going to show you how to set that rule up. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to log into your edge router. And if you remember the rules we created, we created block in and block local. Block local keeps people in the network behind these interfaces. So in our case here, it's switch 0 0.2, which is a VLAN, VLAN ID number 2 off of switch 0 on my edge router X, keeps them from connecting to local services on the router such as the web interface or the SSH connection. And block in is the rule that does all the heavy lifting to keep uh, people in those networks from reaching other networks inside the router. So what we're going to do is we're going to edit our block in rule set. And what we've got to do is we've got to create a rule but it has to come before uh, rule number two because these are going to be processed in order from one to two. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a new rule and we have a DNS server which exists on 192.168.66.10. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a new rule Now this will be grabbing DNS from a different box, whereas we allowed it previously in the rules to get it from the router. So they will be able to actually get to every service that we were going to set this up on uh, 66.10. So let's not call it that. Let's say allow 192.168.66.10. We are going to accept all protocols, destination 192.168.66.10 and we'll save that. Now you're going to notice when it first creates this, it's going to drop it in as rule number three. Well, that's no good because the rules are going to be processed in order, and as soon as we match a rule, it's going to end. So we're going to drop this guy up here into number two, and then we're going to click Save Rule Order. So once we've reordered that and we've saved it, that's it. So now anybody that is in the network behind switcher 0 0.2 can now get to 192.168.66.10. That's it. It is, uh, it is really that e easy. Just remember that the firewalls, you know, they process rules in order, you know, starting at the top, you know, one and working their way down. So that's this video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Please use the Amazon affiliate links down there to keep a few bucks rolling into the channel. And one more thing. I know in my other videos I always say this is the video I'm going to do next. I'm going to do next. I'm just going to start cranking out videos. I'm not going to promise what videos are coming because I seem to be setting, I seem to set myself up uh, for disappointment sometimes because I say that a video is coming and then I get a phone call or I get busy or I work, you know, I work late, things like that. So I'm just going to start cranking the videos out that you are going to love some of the videos that are coming. So once again, this is Willie and I will see you in the next video.